Hey guys, I want to shoot a little piece something everybody needs to pay attention to. You really got to pay attention to your towing when you're towing your boat all the time like we all do. You know, we all love to fish and, and you know, we're towing all the time. So I've had a B&W trailer hitch. I've had it for a couple of years. Absolutely love this thing. This is a seven inch drop. Well, I just got a new truck and I went with a little bit bigger lift. I went with a seven inch lift on my new truck instead of a five inch. I went with uh, 37 and a half inch tires instead of 36s. And what that did is that jacked up my height here and I've already had it down at the, at the seven inch part. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna wear all my trailer tires different. Um, you know, and, and at the, at the boat's just not gonna be balanced as well. You know, the trailer's not gonna be balanced as well. So uh, I went ahead and ordered a new hitch from B&W. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. Just showed up on the porch. Let's rip this baby apart. See what we, see what we got in here. Probably not the exact way you're supposed to open it up, but that's how we're doing it. See it's packaged in here, all cool. All right, there it is. So, what we got here, this is the nine inch drop. And these things are so easy to operate. You just pull these little pins out and you can move everything around just really easy. You know, so you can just pull that pin out, pull that pin out and this thing will slide. We're gonna want it, that's when it's in the stow position like that, and I'll show you that on the truck here in a second. But we are gonna want this guy like this. And I'm gonna want it all the way down, because like I said, the reason why I got a new B&W trailer hitch is I went with the bigger lift and bigger tires on the truck, so I had to get it to where I can keep that recommended ball height. See, you know, I run a Ranger boat, and Ranger recommends it at 18 inches. So hopefully, with this new 9-inch drop, that should get it right around that 18-inch mark. Now we're also going to take this out, and we're going to move this around too. Now, I'm going to be towing my bass boat next, so I'm going to want it like this on a 2-inch ball. Now I got the tow and stow, the turnover ball, this is a 2 and 5 sixteenths on this side, and what I did that for is uh, I tow a lot of big boats, you know, big offshore boats too. I don't personally have one myself. I wish I did, but a couple of buddies of mine do. So we go with that. But right now I'm gonna be towing the bass boat more often probably. And now it's ready to go. All right, now this is how easy this is gonna be for you, for you to change this. All you gotta do, I got a locking mechanism on my pin that connects to the truck. Pull it out just like that. Your pin comes out and here's what I was talking about with the the B&W is coming with the two and a half inch on now you can order them with two inches too but like I said with maybe having a three-quarter ton truck you use the two and a half inch receiver that just slides right out and like I said see there's no adapter on it we don't have to use any kind of adapter at all I'm taking the seven inch drop off it just didn't have my trailer tongue in the proper position so we shall put the new nine inch drop one on like that put our locking pin back in and we're done that's all there is and now that should get me back down I was at about 20 inches on my tongue height and my ball height there so with a two inch drop from like I said it's a nine inch drop and of course if you need to go the other way you can you can move it too um, super easy to, to do the ball like I said just pull this pull this now I'm at two and five sixteenths, turn it over. I'm at two inches, that's super easy. Like I said, when you're not towing, like all week long, if you're gonna be at work or whatever and you're not towing, all you gotta do is do this, do this, pull this one out, pull this out, swap it around. Super easy, put your pins back in. And now when people are walking around the back of your truck and stuff, or when you're backing up, you're not going to have that ball sticking out there to get in the way. So that's how it is. That's going to have my trailer in the proper leveled position. Tires are going to wear better. I'm going to get better gas mileage. And I know nothing's going to happen because I got a B&W trailer hitch on the back.